What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nuriel and this here is Jackson and today we're going to be talking about the best ways to calm your dog. It is very important to teach your dog how to be calm just in case you want to go to public places with your dog or even just having your dog meet strangers or new people. You want your dog to act accordingly. If your dog is already stressed, anxious or even just too excited and riled up figure out why your dog is acting that way it could be from lack of exercise or even something that your dog is scared of if your dog is barking at something whining or is stressed about a certain thing make them comfortable with that specific object or person through positive reinforcement and treats let them be comfortable with whatever they are scared of or anxious about and before we get into the pointers and ways to really calm your dog i just want to preface this with that with dogs and puppies they tend to mirror owners feelings and traits so if you are stressed it can come off to your dog slash puppy that being stressed is normal and they too will be if you talk in an angry manner your dog slash puppy can be a little bit more aggressive than usual obviously this is not all the time but this is just something to be wary of so when trying out these pointers and ways to calm your dog be sure to act in a calming manner so that you can help your dog in the best possible way if you guys aren't a subscriber please hit that subscribe button as it really means a lot to jackson and me but let's just get straight into the video number one the main reason why dogs tend to be really riled up or energetic is lack of exercise and with that i talk about this all the time in my videos dogs not only need physical exercise but they also need mental exercise or mental simulation if your dog has been cooped up in an apartment for example or in a house for however long and not really been on walks or played out in the backyard a lot all this energy is built up in their body and it's just waiting to let loose which usually comes around at least for jackson five or six o'clock if that's the case make sure to always go on walks with your dog uh, play fetch with your dog in your backyard or in an open field for example jackson every once in a while we actually give him a puzzle uh, there's a video on that on my channel if you want to check it out give him a puzzle and that helps uh, simulate his mind a little bit more too in addition to that i like to get a kong toy fill it up with peanut butter freeze it and that itself will give Jackson about, I think it takes him about 30 minutes just to lick out all the frozen peanut butter out of the toy. So I definitely recommend that too. Again, cause it really gives a dog a purpose, a job, something to do. And that itself simulates their mind, tires them out. And yeah, after those 30 minutes, Jackson is less likely to be as riled up as before. Number two, another way I calm Jackson when he's either riled up or very anxious is by actually telling him to sit to go down and to stay. So these three tricks, they are very much more submissive commands, meaning it teaches the dog to really stay low, be to the ground, stand still, and not be as riled up as before. What I like to do over the course of these few months is actually see how long he will sit in that position and then of course give him some treats but again see how long he sits in that position, see how long he stays down in that position, and see how long he will stay in the position. Obviously the longer your dog stays in that position, the more likely your dog will be calmer and not as riled up as before. The trick to this trick is again to have your dog stand still and really catch his breath if he's again riled up or running around a lot. The third way you can help calm your dog is simply by just petting or even massaging your dog when he or she is anxious or stressed. Just like humans, dogs can be calm through physical touch. Sometimes an owner's touch can be very soothing for a dog slash puppy that is very stressed or anxious. Giving your dog a massage, an all around body massage can help relax muscles and even just soothe your dog's senses down to it being very calm and at peace. So definitely try that out if your dog is very stressed or anxious, whether it's because of thunderstorms or a certain object in your house, hugging or petting, or even just, again, just giving a massage to your dog can really help in calming your dog down. And number four, if your dog is very riled up, excited, very stimulated, a timeout can actually be very beneficial in calming your dog down. 
I just want to say though too that when you do give a timeout, it is not a punishment and make sure it is not coming off as a punishment. It is just a way for your dog to calm down and to exclude any factors that can really simulate his senses, really get him all riled up. So definitely again, if you are going to give your dog a timeout, whether it is in a room with you, closed, or even just, um, you know, putting your dog on a chair and kind of having him stand still, just make sure that your dog knows that you are not punishing him for being energetic. You're not punishing him for being basically a dog. You just want to let her know that it's time to kind of wind down, time to slow down and hit the brakes. Number five, again, just like humans, music can really help in calming down your dog's senses. Studies have shown that playing calm music can actually reduce your dog's heart rate and even other symptoms of stress. So definitely try that out with your dog. I would even suggest when your dog is sleeping, play that music in the background so your dog kind of associates that calming sleeping mood with being calm and so then every time your dog hears the calm music he or she will wind down lastly if your dog is very riled up very energetic sometimes it is just beneficial just let him or her be meaning just let him or her get the energy out let him or her run around the house as long as it is not too destructive energy has been again bottled up and just needs to let loose as long as your dog is not being destructive or anything like that just let the dog have its time have his zoomies jackson has his zoomies around the evening and he just zooms around the house sometimes he barks at times but i think that's more because he's a teenager um but sometimes you just gotta let your dogs dogs and I uh, can't stress that enough either but yeah guys that concludes today's video hopefully these pointers help you guys in calming down your dog and really understanding why your dog may or may not be um, stressed anxious or excited let me know in the comments down below if there are any other ways to have worked for you guys and really calming down your very excited or stressed dog uh, I'd love to know your guys's ways if you guys haven't already please hit that subscribe button as it really helps and motivates Jackson and me. Tell your dogs you love them. Jackson, I love you. Thank you guys for watching and have an amazing day. Here is Jackson. You guys want more of Jackson? Here he is, eating a treat.